Patriot fans, I love all my fans, I love Patriot fans. And wherever I go, Patriot fans always ask, am I coming back, when I'm coming back, where am I coming back? I'm walking across the street and they're like, you're walking because you're coming back. <laughs> and I'm, it's crazy, I understand, I, I feel that love. But I wanna be clear to my fans, I needed to recover. I was not in a good place. F football was t bringing me down and I didn't like it. And I was losing that joy in life, like the joy. I'm sorry right now, but oh, <laughs> dang, let me, oh. I really was, and I was fighting through it. Marcus Spears joins us now, and, and guys, clearly an emotional Gronk right there. I mean, I felt that. You could feel his, his emotion around it. Do you think Gronk, after hearing that, is more or less likely to make an NFL comeback after watching that? I think it's potentially more. I think that he walked away from the game. I think part of it was due to injury. And part of it, significantly so, I might add, because we, you know, as Will and I were talking off camera, is similar to what we heard from Luck the other mm -hmm. day. The other side to it, however, is that I can't help but think about Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick is great. He's phenomenal. He's the greatest coach of this era, if not arguably ever. We have to understand that. But the flip side to it is that he takes such a business no-nonsense approach to it and next man up and, you know, you so e you appear to be, I don't want to say because I don't know, but you appear to be so easily discarded that winning is fun, true, but there's a fun that comes along with the process that involves winning. That day-to-day, -day, those six days in between games on, on most instances throughout the regular season, that matters. And if you're not having a good time, because everything is about the business at hand. With somebody as free-spirited and who appears to be as fun-loving as Rob Gronkowski, to be restricted or limited in any way, in any way, I think that that, that in part, is what he is speaking about as well. I don't know. I want to emphasize that. I don't know. I've never asked anybody about that. But that's just the impression that I get no, but while watching. It's a reasonable assumption from things that we've heard about playing for Bill Belichick. It doesn't sound like the most fun thing in the world to do. Thanks. Winning, as you point out, is fun. But I got to tell you, Stephen A., it sounds, like you said, exactly like what Andrew Luck said. Exactly. I've been dealing with pain. I've been dealing with injury. And I've lost the joy for the game. Now, Marcus and Stephen A., I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to be consistent on this, okay? I'm not even going to be able to explain to you why I feel differently. But I know the history of... Guys who retire before or at the age of 30. I know about Jim Brown and Gail Sayers and Barry Sanders and Calvin Johnson. And I'm going to tell you that they almost never come back. It's the Brett Favre's that hang on to the last minute. But I got to tell you, while I don't think we'll see Andrew Luck again, I do think there's a chance we see Gronk again. I, I don't know and I can't explain why. It's inconsistent, right? They sound the same. Why do I think Luck is gone for good, <laughs> but Gronk is going to come back? But I don't think we've seen the last of Gronk, Marcus. Grug is not done because he's emotional about it. And look, there, there is a there is a, a way when people are when the finale has hit itself, when when things are just done, you talk about it in a totally different way. I was sitting on get up almost a year ago now talking about Gronk and before the Super Bowl. Do you remember when he was reflectionary? You remember when he was talking about the grind and the things that it takes to get ready for a season? his body, and how he was feeling. I knew Grunk was going to retire. I think Grunk will play again. When we start talking about the New England Patriots, the thing that, that resonates with me is you have Tom Brady, who is arguably the greatest quarterback to ever play, if not the greatest. All he's going to do in the playoff is pick up the phone and ask Grunk, listen, man, I need you for three weeks. I need you for a month to get us over the hump. That would be very, very hard for Rob Gronkowski not to take advantage of being able to go do that again. And then listening to him talk right there and actually seeing him, things that you're done with, you're not emotional about. When a relationship is over between a man and a woman and it's really over, it's not emotional. It's talking about the things that you were able to do and everybody's on with the day-to-day -day and on with the business. Usually emotions mean you're still attached, and when you're still atta attached, there's a chance you will go back to that.
Thank you so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.